Hi guys, uh, so today in this tutorial I want to talk about overlays. Overlay is actually an amazing feature that gives us the ability to open an external frame on the content of our screen. Which actually it will, it will open as an elevated element, an elevated element on our screen, on the content of our screen. Um, and we can do it in a few ways. We can animate it, uh, we can darken the screen behind it and uh, create really cool stuff with it. So let's start uh, with our examples and see exactly how to work with it. So I pre-made kind of like, um, uh, let's say a home page of a website. Of course, it's just one frame, it doesn't matter. Uh, the rest of the content of this page really doesn't matter. Uh, we just uh, want to use it as an example to see how to create an overlay. So let's say that for this, uh, let's play it and see just how it looks. Okay, and while it opens, yeah, okay, let's do this. And yeah, and now we have, this is actually the uh, page, uh, the desktop uh, website page. Okay, so let's see how to create a menu that when I click on this icon, the menu will just show and pop up here. It will go from the side, it will come from the left to the right, and let's see exactly how it happens and how to interact with an overlay so i'm opening a frame i can do by the way i can design the overlay on my screen before uh before i'm taking it to the side and seeing exactly what do i want to do meaning if i'll take this frame i'll put it here i say okay this is let's say the width of my menu i can do it like this or like this and let's say that I'm going to have here a few, uh, let's say, menu options. Menu option, that's okay, menu option. Uh, and let's give it a bigger size. Let's do it like that. That's maybe a bit too big. So that's going to be like this. And I'm going to put it like this and duplicate it a few times. Let's say that this is uh, our menu, kind of like pretty similar to uh, a side menu that opens on a mobile screen. Actually, this convention arrived to the desktop from the mobile, so that's okay. And that's the way it should look, I guess, more or less. Um, and uh, so, you know, we can have here just some uh, navigation options. We can have here anything we want um, according to our designs, to our needs. It doesn't matter. We're just showing how to interact with this. Uh, menu and we can also if we want we don't uh, have to but we can do kind of like a closing icon why does it why is it shaking on the screen I have no idea <laughs> I don't know what happened there uh, do something like that we'll duplicate it and turn it let's see if it is duplicated and now we can create um, our X icon, which is the closing icon. Uh, what I'm saying is that uh, more and more we are seeing a convention of close when clicking outside. So most of the users know and interact with it, but of course we can always give also an X button to make it more clear of closing it. Okay, so again, uh, we can have here a few navigation options and uh, we can have here buttons or anything we want. So now I can take this outside. I will call this frame, let's say, uh, slide menu. And um, now let's see how to interact with it. Very simple. Now I'm going to double click and choose this menu icon and I will interact with it like this. Okay, I can just connect it. Now, one thing uh, which is important to mention is that an overlay 
has to be a frame. It cannot be just a bunch of shapes out there. Uh, it cannot be a group. It has to be a frame. Okay, I'm just mentioning it, if, even if it's kind of obvious, you know what, I don't know. But uh, yes, so it has to be a frame. Now, in this window, interaction details on click, we're not going to choose navigate to because navigate to basically what it will do is that it will change. I mean, we are navigating from this frame, okay, this whole website page to this frame. Now, this is not what we want. We want to bring this frame to open inside this frame, which is actually our screen. Okay, so let's click on the interaction again. And here I'm going to choose Open Overlay. Now, when I choose Open Overlay, notice this icon on the side of this frame, uh, which indicates that this is an overlay besides this window, which gives me different options, or it asks me actually, how do I want to interact with this frame? Bring it as an overlay, what kind of animation, where do I want to place it, uh, if I want to close when clicking outside, in most cases, I guess, yes. Um, add background behind overlay, which this is something fantastic that Figma did, that I can darken the screen behind the overlay to easily focus the eyes of the users on the overlay that I'm opening on our screen. So let's choose, uh, let's make a few choices here and see what uh, each one of them does. So as I said, close when clicking outside, it means that when the overlay will open on our screen, when I'll click outside of it, it will close exactly the way it came to the screen. Meaning if it was animating from the left to the right, it will animate exactly the opposite direction from the right to the left. Okay, we will see, we'll show it now. It happens, uh, how it happens, I mean. Uh, add background behind overlay. As I said, I can darken the screen behind the overlay that opens on our screen. And I will give it, let's say, a 40%. We can always, of course, uh, adjust it uh, after we see how it looks on our screen. Now, animation, I'm going to choose, let's say, move in. And I wanted to move in, of course, not from this side. I wanted to move in from this side, like that, OK? Maybe 300 milliseconds is a bit fast. I'm not sure we will see it. Let's give it a 400 now and then see how it uh, behaves and decide uh, while we're at it. The only thing I didn't do yet is choose exactly where is it going to open on our screen. Now, notice that uh, if it's the default is centered, meaning center of horizontal center and uh, vertical center. OK, so of course, this is not what we want for this uh, slide menu. So I'm going to choose for now, uh, let's say top left is good. Yeah, top left is good. But I will show how to place it even manually. Let's see what happens now. So when I click on this icon, we see our uh, menu that opens. I think that 400 milliseconds actually was quite precise. We can do it always even faster or slower depends on the, let's say, the uh, nature of our product. Okay, so we can decide according to it. Uh, now, I can click outside this menu and it will go back. It will close exactly the way it came. Again, clicking on it, it opens on our screen. Clicking outside of it and you see the darkened background behind this overlay. Of course, I chose now to do it like that. As I say always, in your designs, uh, you will choose and decide, of course, how do you want uh, it to behave, OK? The other thing that we can do is I can uh, click this second. I can click this X icon and I can close the overlay with it in two ways, actually. The better one 
and I will explain why. The better one is to just give it a close overlay action. The other one, which is not so good, is just connected to this frame and meaning tells it to on click navigate to yes uh, and we're gonna do the move in exactly or move out <laughs> actually move out on this direction and then if you see now that's what it does but there's a big but here this menu we can use it from each page that we create to our website okay so each page that we create to our website can use this overlay meaning that if we will give this x go back to this one no matter where we open it it's always going to go back to this frame of course this is weird and this is not what we want so we're going to Take this arrow and just connect it to here and give it a close overlay action, meaning no matter where it will open, it will always just close it the same way that it opened it. So again, opening it and closing it, okay? Open it, click outside, it is now closing. Okay, good, great, looks amazing and everything is good. By the way, of course, that if I will put this aside for a moment, I will duplicate this page. Let's say that that was another page on our website. It doesn't really matter exactly how it looks now because we're talking about overlays and not uh, how to design a website page. <laughs> so anyway, just to give it and show the difference, I'm gonna double click on this image and uh, just play with it, its colors a bit let's give it a something like that just that we know that we actually went to uh, actually navigated not went but navigated to another page so what i want to show is that from this overlay that actually these two screens are using now okay meaning if i will go to prototype you will see that this icon and from this screen is going to this overlay and also from here it opens the same overlay so i can choose or select let's say page one and here i'm gonna write page two and now what i can do is oh <laughs> i wrote the page two here as well hmm. okay Second, let's bring it back and give it a one. Okay, so now page one, no matter which page I will open this menu from, will always go to page one. Okay, on click navigate to, yes, it will navigate to this frame. Uh, and let's give it a, let's give it a dissolve. I guess let's see how it works out. I think that's pretty cool. A dissolve and from here, I mean page two is always gonna go to this page. Dissolve, I think it's okay. Let's see how it works. So now it opens, page two goes to this other page. Click on it, page one goes to the first page so you see it works perfect exactly how we wanted it to work great so that's one overlay another overlay that i wanted to show is a pop-up message or in some cases a dialog box meaning that gives the user i don't know uh, ability to uh, let's say uh, leave details in a form uh, having buttons and deciding uh, which one goes to where and stuff like that. So what we can do is just create a pop-up. As I said, I can design a pop-up or the overlay that I want on the screen and then just take it outside. This is the way I usually do it. So I hit a frame and I will give it a kind of a center one plus on the field and let's say that here I have a 
just a let's say a template of a pop-up it doesn't matter which is the content it doesn't matter really which content i'm going to put here uh let's say that uh, i don't know there are a few images here something like that or maybe just two it doesn't really matter and uh, let's say that i am giving the user an ability to do something here um yeah it's just really just for the just to give it some content but it doesn't really matter because as i said we are talking about overlays so <laughs> that's not the point of it anyway so we have a pop-up good enough uh, and let's give it an x button if we did already one so let's just take it from here i'm going to copy and paste it here okay um yeah okay so we have a pop-up fine to me it could have text form doesn't really matter you know what i'm being a pain here a bit but anyway <laughs> that's okay just to give it kind of like more of a real feeling yeah so let's do something like that yeah you know what doesn't matter that's enough okay i'm taking this pop-up outside and let's give it a name of a pop -up. very sophisticated i'm being very sophisticated here so this pop-up um look at that now i can uh, i can of course open it by let's say that uh, i want this pop-up pop up pop up to open automatically um on this screen when i'm coming to the screen when i'm arriving this screen uh let's say i want that after uh three seconds when the user is in the screen or two seconds or four doesn't matter uh, i want this pop-up to just uh appear on the screen and give the user the choice of either interacting with this pop-up or just closing it okay so look at what i do in this case and again if you're not so familiar with uh prototyping in general uh transition types uh, I strongly suggest that you check out my other tutorial about the first one in this series, uh, prototyping uh, screens. Okay, so you can check it out and you know learn more about prototyping in general and transition types there. Anyway, so I'm hitting the prototype tab. I'm connecting it to this pop-up. Okay. So this is going to be not on click, but after delay, okay? Because I want it automatically to go to proceed or open this pop-up on the screen when the user arrives to it. So let's give it an after delay of, let's say, uh, 2,500, meaning it's two and a half seconds, can be two or three, four, as you decide. Dissolve is good for me. I'm not talking about the easing now, uh, 400 milliseconds, even a 300, I think is gonna be good. Uh, preserve scroll position for now, it doesn't matter. And let's give it a shot again. So, one second, one thing I didn't do, watch, we, this is what exactly we're talking about. I didn't tell it an open overlay. I forgot about that, of course. So. Close, uh, add background behind overlay. I'll give it a 40%. Uh, dissolve is great. And this time, by the way, uh, centered is great. This is exactly what I want in the horizontal center and the vertical center of my screen. And that is exactly what it says. Okay, good. Let's see how it works. I open the first overlay, page two wait two and a half second and boom this is our pop-up on our screen exactly how we wanted it uh, to open as i said close when clicking outside i can also connect this x it's already connected actually it saved the action from the other pop-up which is great uh, so it can also uh, let's say open it again go to page one 
open it again, go to page two, wait for it to open, and let's see that the X is doing the work for us. Perfect. Okay, good. So now we talked about two examples of a an overlay on a website page. Let's start talking about mobile a bit. I want to show, it's kind of like the same, but I'll just so, show it uh, more on a mobile screen. So slide menu is actually exactly what we did here. So I'm going to, I'm just going to show it on a mobile screen. Uh, context menu, I will show now. Notification, pop-up message. Basically, the logic is kind of the same in all of them. It's just different designs, different needs. We interact with these overlays a bit different, but that's okay. Okay, so let's, you know what? The slide menu will show it. Yeah, I'll do it really quick. Anyway, slide menu. So again, I, I can just open a frame here. Let me go to my design and I will just draw a frame here which will be, let's say, my a side menu, drawer menu, hamburger menu. It all means the same. Um, and I'm giving it a, let's say, uh, white background. Again, I'm going to have here, of course, not that big. <laughs> I'm going to change it now. Um, option, let's give it a 24. Yeah, that's good. Option one. Oh, this is not what I wanted to do. And something like that. And we can change it, of course, quickly. Two, three, four, five, and six. Good. Okay, so we have like six options in our menu. Of course, it can be designed uh, as you need it in your designs. It can, you can have more options or less options. You can have it with an icon on the side. Uh, you can have also your log out log. Or oh, let's give it a log out option here. Uh, give it a regular. We can do uh, something really quickly like that. You know what? Let's do it kind of an arrow. Good. Okay, so let's say we have a one second. This goes to here and that's here. And we can give it a let's say kind of a something like that. Good. So let's say we did quickly kind of a an example of this um, of this logout. Um, and uh, just again, anything you want on your on your menu, anything you need in your designs. This is just an example which shows technically uh, how to interact with this overlay. So again, I just take this uh, menu and put it outside uh, of my screen. And here, oh, something. Let's say I think that it stole my hamburger icon. <laughs> I think, yes, let me see. Oh, yeah, you stealer. <laughs> okay, so that's an X, and I'm going to put it here. Good. Yeah, it kind of stole it when I drew the frame, so it, it took it with it. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, we're not going to be angry. We're going to understand. That's okay. And we'll take this uh, famous X icon. Oh, not that copy not x copy i said x and i did an x and we're gonna put you here and you are gonna be here good so you're gonna do the same thing let's see that you are doing the same thing um oh because i didn't interact it as an overlay yet so it doesn't anyway so this icon is gonna open this menu again open overlay um a side menu yes close when clicking outside add background behind overlay will give it a 40 and now i want it i want to uh, now i want to show uh, how can i place it manually okay i'm going to choose manual 
Now here, when I choose manual, which is a great option, I can just drag it and place it where I want it to be open when it does. Okay, when it does open on my screen, this is where I want it. I can even do, if for some reason I want it to be opened like this, so I can also do something like this. Now I want it, of course, opened here. And this is great for pop-up and other uh, menu items which I will show uh, soon. Okay, so let's see how it works. Let's give it a play. Oh, that did it quite quickly. <laughs> okay, and... Okay, that's great, and it closes. The only thing which I didn't do uh, is create or give it the animation, because now it opened just on a dissolve 300 milliseconds. Of course, if I wanted to move into my screen, I can just click here and give it uh, an animation from left to right, and uh, the X button, oh, sorry, here so the x button yeah so the x button is yeah now it's connected to the x it has it has a close action which is great and now it does what it needs to do and the x closes it close when clicking outside meaning that we can just tap with our finger outside of the menu like happens for example for example you see it a lot in gmail i guess it closes the menu. So we have the side menu, a context menu. Let's quickly build one. A context menu, I mean that like in Facebook, for example, or in a lot of applications that you have this uh, three dots menu, a lot of times it opens a menu on the bottom of your screen, which pops up from the bottom, something like that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to design it quickly here. Oh, it did it again. <laughs> uh, so the frames are stealing my uh, <laughs> stealing my designs. So let's do something like that. Okay. Uh, we're going to give it a, let's say here, something like that. Yeah, which I think is pretty cool. I can even give it a shadow. A drop shadow and I'm gonna turn it into minus three to bring the shadow to the top part um, and give it kind of like a 10 spread even more I guess something like that even yeah that's okay uh, 25 give it yeah you know what I'll give it, I'll leave it on 25 because we are darkening our screen so I do want to see it um, a bit with a shadow of course we don't have to darken the screen behind it it's just if we want to so i'm just saying that it's only if you want to but in most cases it does a good job and let's say that our menu item is gonna be something like that kind of with an icon and just a demo text let's just give it a uh, menu item uh, give it something like that and we could do it on regular and i'm gonna auto layout both of them and give it a center yeah something like that that's good for the demo that's perfect let's do it something like this okay good now, what I'm going to do is I will duplicate another one, do it like that, and I will turn this one into an auto layout structure. Again, if you're not familiar with auto layout, you can check out another tutorial that I did on auto layout. First one in series, but it's uh, pretty explaining there, uh, pretty, I'm saying explainable. Uh, it will explain you there how to use auto layout and how to learn uh, to build great stuff with it. So let's give it a fixed one. And this is a 375 of width. And the padding I see here is a bit too much. I'll give it a 30 and a 30. 
and I'll duplicate another one. Let's give it another one. Yeah, that is good. And this is going to be our context menu. Good. So this is going to be our overlay. If we want to check for a minute how it looks on the screen, we can just place it here. Yeah, looks pretty okay. You know what, maybe I'll give just a bit more space between the items there. Yeah, for a more comfortable mobile usage, definitely. And of course, again, I'm just doing it in a very schematic way. You can use it on your designs as you need to. I mean, the content of these menus are going to be, of course, what you need in your designs. Okay, so uh, let's say that this one, these icons, okay, which actually I'm going to give a bit of a, I did them also auto lay the layout. I'm going to give it more padding that I can actually click on it in a more, easy way so you see i can give it a extra padding place it like that which is good and also this one um i'm gonna give it a six and a six as we did there and then i can place it like that great so it's gonna be easier even when prototyping it's gonna be just easier to click on it so prototype I'm going to interact with this frame that we want as an overlay. Navigate to open overlay. Again, the same thing, close when clicking outside. Uh, add the background behind overlay. Of course, if I don't add the background, it's just not gonna add any background behind it. I mean, pretty obvious, but I'm just mentioning it. 40%, uh, I like the 40 again, you do in your designs, whatever you need to. Uh, and I'm going to do it a move in this time from bottom to top. Okay, like it's going to come from the bottom and just go up here. Um, good. So this one is going to do the same thing. Uh, open overlay. We have all our con save configurations for what we did there. And let's see how it works. Oh, great. It was great. I just didn't place it on the, uh, on the on where I need to. So that's the only thing that really happened. Uh, we can do it in a sec. So um, we can give it a bottom center. Actually, in this case, bottom left, bottom center, bottom right are going to work all the same because this overlay is on the is in the same width of our screen so it doesn't really matter uh, but we're gonna give it anyway let's give it a bottom center just to work to be precise I mean for just getting used to working in a precise way uh, bottom center and this one is a bottom center okay good so oh it's already here so clicking outside or in mobile tapping outside it opens like this closes opens like this closes great it works perfect you see um, so this is the contextual menu and of course as I did here uh, each menu item can lead me to another mobile page okay so that can easily happen uh, let's say that even one of these actions let's say is a delete action and i want to confirm make sure that the user knows what he's doing okay so if we want to do it like that what we can do is we can design another Let's say, are you sure you want to delete something like that? You know what? Let's even do it here. Okay, so let's say, are you sure you want to delete something like that? Um, give it a yes. Or no. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter which text or how the buttons will look. Okay, so let's give it a yes or a no. And uh, we want this, uh, even do it more authentic, delete, <laughs> something like that. Of course, the design is quite poor, but it's just to show an example. And uh, I can give this one to interact with this frame and actually um, open another overlay. Okay, so it opens another overlay, close when clicking outside, add background behind overlay. Let's give it kind of a bit because I think it's gonna keep the overlay which was done already from this one. Let's see exactly how it moves or how it does it. Um, yeah, I think even 200, yeah. So let's see how it works. So I'm opening this one, delete. Yes, yeah, so let's see again, one second. Let's see if it added. Yeah, it does a bit. Yeah, that's okay. So delete, yes, no. Of course, I can click yes and uh, one second. I'll do a no. I can connect it um, to close this overlay. And then the no just closes this overlay. So you see, I can open another overlay from this overlay. Another thing that I can do as well is I can swap overlay, meaning I can, um, let's say, change one overlay to another. Let's say that we have another, I'm saying let's say a lot of times, I realize, but anyway, <laughs> that doesn't matter. So, um, let's say, I'm saying it again, <laughs> that uh, when I tap on this item, it gets selected. It doesn't really matter the logic of the actions here right now, but let's say that I wanna, I wanna tap on this item, and when I do tap on it, I want this icon to become red, like that. Don't ask me why, just to show for the example. It doesn't really matter. And this one, I want to, you know what, to be red as well. Okay, so we have ourselves a situation. Anyway, so, uh, from this delete, I'm opening this overlay, and from this one, let's say, yeah, from the second one, uh, I'm going to interact with this one, and here I'm going to tell it swap overlay, meaning change this overlay with this overlay, and then it will look like we selected this, uh, this uh, menu item. Of course, uh, uh, logically, it doesn't make much sense in a menu to just something that gets selected. It needs to be something else. But anyway, doesn't matter right now. Uh, dissolve uh, 200 milliseconds. Yeah, I think it's okay. So I'm going to hit this one. And then you see, I mean, it was kind of like flicking a bit. But let's say so this one. Uh, yeah, we're closing it. Let's open it again. It kind of flicked. Yeah, because it changes the darkened background. I mean, I'll explain it. Now this one has a darkened background behind it. When I click on this one, it kind of uh, changes it uh, uh, to this one. And there was, I chose a dissolve, a fade. I think that if on this case, I will choose, uh, let's say, instant, maybe nothing will actually happen let's see yeah okay so instant when i have no uh, actual animation on the swapping between them so this one gets selected immediately now this delete doesn't work right now the reason for it is that this overlay is not connected to this overlay only this one okay that's the reason why so we saw how to open an overlay uh, as a context menu, swap, uh, open from an overlay another overlay, which is pretty cool. Look how many things we can do with overlays. That's pretty great. Uh, let's say that for some reason, oh, you know what, notification. So notification, uh, we can easily do it same, same like this. Notification, I can design one here, 
pretty easy, uh, let's say 375 of width, and I'm going to give it a design, something like that. Give it a shadow, something like that. And uh, this notification is going to have, again, something like, let's say, a button. Yes. Just so maybe just uh, telling something to the user. Uh, or you know what? Got it. Like Google does a lot. So we're going to have a got it here, which closes the overlay. And here we're going to have some message to the user. But we're just going to do something like kind of simulate it. with something like that that's pretty good okay so that's our notification and uh, i want to when i open the screen i want that after three seconds or again i can just do it from clicking on something on my screen and then opening this overlay or i can just uh, interact with an after delay when i do the after delay interaction i need to um, to choose the whole frame, to select actually the whole frame to do it. I mean, doing it from the screen itself and not from an element inside the screen. So I'm connecting to this one. I will do it after delay. Uh, smart animate or a move in will be great. Something like that. Give it a 400 milliseconds move in after delays uh, open overlay um, close when clicking outside add background behind overlay something like that yeah 30 40 50 in some cases depends what and we're gonna give it a manual let's place it just manually so you see i can place it anywhere i want and here i'm placing it here um and good enough so open an overlay let's give it a play again okay so oh i didn't give it uh, enough delay time so i'm gonna do it now yeah it's just 800 milliseconds let's give it a three seconds which is three thousand milliseconds let's hit the play again Let's hit the play. Now I closed it and hit the play again. Let it load and gather its, thought, its uh, thoughts. One, two, three. Whoop. And we have the, uh, one second, but we don't see it very good. No, we're going to do something like that. Yes. Let's see it again. <laughs> Let's see it properly uh, happening. And I'm going to give it a, yeah, something like that. And we see the notification that opened on the top of our screen. Clicking outside closes it and it works great. And again, I can connect the got it to close overlay. Okay, then that's exactly what it will do. Um, okay, great. Uh, Pop-up message dialogue. I think it's pretty straightforward i mean already because we showed it here so on a mobile screen i guess basically there is not any uh, something new to show let's say that i had and there i said my let's say again <laughs> i had some kind of let's say i have an, an avatar here and i want to You know what, I'll do something really quickly, like, that looks pretty crappy. But anyway, yeah, something like that. Doesn't matter. Let's say that I want to switch a user for some reason. And I have a menu like that. Um, you know what? 
let's move this outside take this one no what are you doing let me arrange it a bit and let's call it uh, user switch swap switch anyway here <laughs> it doesn't matter okay so we're having here a uh, user swapper if i can call it like that and let's rearrange our screen a bit i'll take all these ones down and that's okay and what i'm gonna do is you know i'm gonna give it on purpose um i want to give it something like that that we can see it better i guess yeah that's okay it looks weird i know it looks a bit weird but it doesn't matter right now um and i want to to take these ones and put them a bit here and i want to take this one down and i want it here uh, never mind what happens on my screen now it's just kind of a mess a messy thing but what i want to do here is uh, do a menu i'm going to copy this one and paste it here and i will of course have to give this one a black color of course or a dark color some kind and uh i'm gonna do a auto layout and auto layout i'm gonna give it uh, something like that and a width and that is okay yeah that's okay um i'm gonna give it something like that and i will give it more spacing and this one actually let's say we don't need this i can create a new one second uh, i can create a new user if i want to yeah What did I do? No, that wasn't the meaning of it. I went here. Okay, good. And um, yeah, give this one like that, and this one. Um, no. Oh, I did it wrong. I did it with the with the background, which I shouldn't actually, but it doesn't matter. Let's give it something like that. Okay, good. So I've created the most beautiful menu on planet Earth. User switch. Yeah, let's call it a user menu. Something like that. Um, good. So with this one, now I can interact easily. I can just open it uh, and I'll give it a manual. Move in. No, it's going to be a dissolve give it a 300 that's okay um open overlay i'm gonna give it a manual now look how i place it manually i wanted to open exactly on one second yeah you see now I'm aiming it to open exactly on the existing one. Okay, good. Uh, close when clicking outside, darken my, I mean the screen behind it. Good. So now if we go back here, so when I'm tapping on it, perfect. You see, this is exactly what I wanted to achieve. And we can just swap to another Oh, of course, when it opens, <laughs> yeah, it looks weird. I mean, when it opens, uh, let me fix it here. I mean, of course, logically, we don't need these ones <laughs> when it does open. Yeah, forgot about it. So anyway, yeah. So when I open it, that's the way it happens. And uh, I can just, you know, select each one of them 
or create a new one, which leads probably to a new screen. But that's what I wanted to show. OK, great. So I think we pretty much covered it. Uh, overlays. Yeah, I think I gave um, a lot of examples. And uh, that's about it, I guess. So uh, again, as I said, always, um, I will appreciate a like, and of course, I will be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, more very cool and great tutorials are coming up ahead. Um, and uh, that's about it, guys. So thank you so much, and see you in the next tutorial.